special one for you today. We think you're going to absolutely love this. Now, these amazing Quinton Blake illustrations from the Roald Dahl books are, um, they look so complicated, um, but actually it's all about, we'll break them right down and we'll put slap a little bit of watercolour wash on and do some loose pen marks um, and you're going to love it. Let's get drawing with Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <music> This um, is our picture. We've got Willy Wonka and Charlie from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and the golden ticket. And this is the first one we've had a bit of writing on where it says, come on, cried Mr. Wonka, get a move on, please. So they're heading off. He's, he's clutching his golden ticket there. So what I want you to do is to start thinking about where halfway up the page is. So that gives us an idea there. And what I want you to do here is just draw a very simple line. Can you see how loosely I'm holding my pencil here? There at the bottom. If you must use a ruler, use a ruler, but you really don't need to because this isn't an architectural drawing at all. So now I want you to come about halfway down there and do one big line here. I really struggle with vertical lines. Sorry, I'm gonna have to just turn my page because I find horizontal lines much easier. Let's get rid of that. So I've got that one big line up there. As I get towards the top here, I'm going to take it round because I want this to be a door. So I'm going to take it round to about there. And then the same coming down, but only to about halfway. So that gives us this shape that we've got in the background here. Now let's start putting in just some very basic shapes for our figures. So if we start with Charlie over here, what we've got is here, we've got this just coming across and over the door there. We've got this, just that L shape there, like the base of a triangle and then coming down, and that is gonna give us his foot. And that's exactly where we want it to be. And there's the bottom of his trousers coming up. And there's a second shape. So let's take one up from here and I want you to put it at a slight angle there a line and we'll join that there so if you've not done these before what I'll do is I'll do the drawing and then do it in three different stages and we'll pause at each stage and you'll have a chance to get the shapes in or some people just prefer just joining in while I'm doing it and doing it at the same time whatever works for you I'm going to take that wider so that really is a triangle up there and from there inside that triangle I'm going to bring that back leg down there like that and finish it off there. We'll come and finish that leg off at the next stage of the drawing. So let's pop in this shape here and up. And then we've got what is really a strange triangle here. So we've got that shape coming up there. I want a slight curve coming up to there and then across and we will join it in a triangle. So at the moment that doesn't look like Charlie yet but you can see where he's coming look we're really thinking about those basic shapes to build him up so that's him let's come on to Willy Wonka now so coming on he's about it's about there that we're going to start with this shape and what I want to do is take it up at an angle this line to about there up again and then down in almost a straight line really here we've got that coming up at a real angle there and then a triangle i love these triangles i love breaking down into triangles you may have noticed that if you've been doing the daily draws all the way through we'll have another triangle there and then coming down here i'm going to put in this shape and then coming out we've got that shape there and i'm going to take this leg all the way down now be slightly straighter to there up and down there like that and then just the shoes are quite crazy he's got these crazy shoes so we'll just what I'm going to do is just put those two shapes there that and that so they're all our first basic shapes so if you get those in and then we'll move on to the next day So 
we've done the hard bit really. We've got the basic shapes in. And from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add two little lines here for Charlie's neck. And we're gonna take this shape round and eventually at the next stage, we're gonna turn that into his head. At the moment, we're just gonna settle for that shape there and I'll rub out that little line. So now this basic shape, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it into his, um, his top. And when you pause at the next bit, you'll see that that shape that you've put in is done in red. And all you're doing is coming and putting in these little adjustments to the basic shape around it there. And then let's come in and pop the arm in. And you can see the arm follows, follows this here. We've got a little squidgy bit there. And then it comes out there like that turns around. Oh, and I just love the hands. He just makes it so easy for us. That's the little hand there. Let's put in the all important golden ticket. There. And then I'm going to put in the other hand here. I'm going to bring that down there. Think about the shapes within the shapes here now. Think about that shape there. So if that comes down, I'm going to bring one, and then two, three, four, five. And that's the second hand in there. I'm not going to do much here at all. We're just going to curve that slightly underneath there. And I'm going to take that so it's just not quite as sharp on that edge. I'll come in and rub all those triangle edges out there. You see it's starting to come now, isn't it? And it's all from just starting with the basic shape, getting the sizes in, and then we can do that. Right, so that leg is pretty much as is. We've not really got anything to do here, but I just want to add here, I want to take that, and we're going to take it right up here because this is his sort of running leg there. So we've got that coming there, and then just it's a really little shape there for the shoe. So that's Charlie, and then we'll finish him off, his head off on the next set of shapes. Let's come in now and have a go at Mr. Wonka's rather eccentric outfit here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down from there and I'm gonna take these coattails out. Think about that shape there, taking it out, and then I'm gonna put in there. And I'm gonna curve that so it comes underneath the triangle there, and then that will curve in. So already coattails starting here and I'm going to take that line to there in a little and in a little up there. Let's put in this bow tie, this crazy bow tie. So the bottom of it comes down like that and we've got a sort of square there. Take it up like this and out there. So you can really take your time when you pause here. This is going to be his chin. So I'm going to go round like that and then put that other bit of the bow tie in there. So if we start thinking about getting his face in, we're not going to do all the details yet, but I want that line to be quite straight and then curving around to there and that line to be quite straight. And then from that, we'll build his face on at the next step. So I'm going to come in here. There's not actually a great deal left to do at this stage. Now we're just going to come in. I'm going to bring his arm out and down. He's going to be holding a stick, but again, we'll put that in at the next stage. Coming down. We've got that there. And that coming up. So you can see when you pause, those bits will be in red, the way you put the earlier shapes in. We're going to do exactly the same with this leg that we did with Charlie's. He's just going to come up, go down like that. And curved at the knee, that's possibly a bit big because he's made these legs very thin there like that. And then coming out. And then the shoe shape is a flat line and then just join it. There, and we're going to leave that as it is. So if you want to pause there and put those shapes in and then we'll come and finish it off. So 
So now we've got this, what we're going to do is we're going to put in the face shape. So what I want to do here with, the, with Charlie is take his face around there like that. Let's give him a smile and then that comes out slightly, not much. And then the nose is a little triangle there like that. It looks, I've made a bit of a mistake there, so it looked like I've got a wart. This isn't back to the witches. There we go. So we've got his little nose coming there, and then that's almost a straight line. The eye is tiny. That's it. There, and we've got a little ear. If I take that light down there, I've got a little ear there. The hair is just a few marks, so we've got them it coming in like that. It isn't a line, it's just a series of small marks to make it into his head. So there's Charlie done. Let's come over here now. And what we're going to do is we're going to start here from this line and we've got this magnificent nose coming out here now to there. Now, I want you to think about this shape. I had a piece of paper ready to draw this, but I've lost it already. So I'm going to do it on the scrap here. Can you see that, Elizabeth? Right, so this is the shape we're drawing. We're going around there, down, up, and round. Okay, so it's going to look complicated when I do it small here, but just think about the shape within the shape there. Right, let's get cracking. So it comes in, down, up, because it's got. I've got his mouth in here and round to join. Then I can rub that bit out, rub that bit out. Now if I put his eye in, his eye's at a sort of angle here. And I've got a little dot, he looks slightly manic there, doesn't he? So let's pop his hat in. We've got a line there and that's gonna come up. And then it's quite thin, this top hat. That's its little detail there. And then let's pop his bits of hair coming, sweeping out. And a little ear in there too. I'm gonna to go back over the eye. It, doesn't, it looks a little bit too messy for my liking. So I'll redo the nose, just where the bits where I've rubbed out. I think it needs to come in slightly so it's just over the top of the mouth there. We've got a dot, and then the circle isn't all the way, it's just to there, like that. Now we've got these dots here on the bow tie, and we've got them coming down here like as little buttons there. So let me pop in now this hand coming from, from here, from this part of the bow tie. So we'll pop these little spots there, and this hand here is just coming out down to there, far. Two little lines coming off, and then let's have the waving fingers. So that's the first one. Then we've got a line coming here and out. I'm not sure, but I think that might be supposed to be his beard. What do we think? Of? What do you think? Of yeah, this yeah, I think so. Right, so coming down here, all this is pretty much done. We've got a couple of details to put on the shoes. He's wearing something called spats. Very smart. So coming down here, they've got these two little bits there and a small heel. That's it. So the last bit we need to finish here is just his hand on his cane. So we've got that coming down like that. And then we'll take the cane up there like that and then all the way down. Pass the leg to there. And that is the drawing finished. And now we can pop a bit of paint on. So now we're going to just get in these very pale washes and then once we've let those dry, we're going to put the pen marks that will bring it all together. So before we start, actually, what Elizabeth reminded me of is the fact that I missed out these two doors here. So I'm just going to put those very 
simple marks there to guide me once we come onto that. And then I'm going to mix a skin colour. So I want to have a touch, it's a very light skin colour this. So lots of water, hardly any paint. Touch of yellow and then a touch. That's far too much. So we'll go in like that. A bit more. Let's have a look and look. Yeah, that's about right. Maybe even a bit more water. So I wouldn't add white, just adding a bit more water to get that. That's I'm quite happy with that. And actually it will dry slightly lighter as well. I'm going to come in here because that should be where his hair is going to go. Go down to his chin, around the eye, and across the nose. There we go. And what I'm going to do is take a piece of, I've spilled a bit there, so I lift that up with a bit of kitchen roll. But also, if I pat down here, I'll get it off and it'll be the really light tone that I'm looking for there. There we go. That's it. Now I'm going to come in and whilst that's drying, which is pretty much going to take about a minute, I think, I'm going to put in a very light colour for his jeans. Now, again, hardly any of the paint there. Just a little bit. I'm going to do a line across there. Coming down. And in there. And then I think I'm going to put in Willy Wonka's rather splendid green trousers. So I'll do the same again. Hardly any. You can see I'm not mixing big washes here, am I? Just touches, really. And I'm using very little paint to get the effect that I want. So before I go on to that, I will just rub those lines out, which I'd put in to help me when I was drawing, but I don't need them in now. You always make want to make sure as well that you've not got any bits of rubber, because if when it gets in the paint, it's very difficult to get it out again. And then down. I do quite like the colour for this. I think I would wear these trousers. Green is one of my absolute favourites. Should have rubbed that bit out there as well. I'm not going to go around the um, his cane. I'm going to go over that like that. Okay. While that's drying, I'm going to mix a little purple. So I'm actually looking at this, I think I'm going to take a bit more of that blue and go up to there, like that. I clean my brush and then a bit more of a wash here and then I'm going to use my purple. So this is the palette we sell in our shops, very simple palette of paints but it's pretty much everything you need. I don't want it too dark, I want a nice light purple. I'm going to go and put in that sleeve and put a bit more there. Coming down for its arm. I love that colour. Doesn't it go brilliantly with your own, with the um, with the green. green trousers as well. Purple jacket and green trousers. I think I'm going to put that on my autumn fashion wish list. Channel your inner Willy Wonka. Coming round here, so that's. I want to be careful, I don't want to get it on the green, so I'm going to leave a tiny little gap there. Oh, oh not tiny enough. Now, I'm also going to go around each of these doors very, very loosely like this. With my purple. Got a little door handle there too. And a bit more here. And then at the bottom, just so you can see where the floor is. Let's go for a bit of purple down there as well. Okay, right, so we've got some bits and bobs all over the place to finish here. I'm gonna just take that bit of, these bits of washes here. We don't need those anymore. Just clean up the palette to make, give myself plenty of space. And I'm gonna start by doing Charlie's hair. So I've got just a bit of yellow there. I'm gonna put in Like that. Then to that yellow, I'm going to add a touch of orange because what I want is this kind of goldy colour. That's possibly a bit too orange. Let's go again. A bit more water to it to lighten it up. And that's it. Right, and for this, I'm going to cover his 
paint his jacket first, his little top, sorry. And his shoes. And the golden ticket. And has, have you just worked this out at the same time as me, Elizabeth, that we forgot to paint his hands? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to come back and do that at the end. Right. So, oh, actually, we've also got the top of the cane is in that colour as well. Right. Very quickly, if I do his hands, I'm going to just do a touch of yellow, a touch of pink. Like that. Lots of water. What you... What would have been easier would have been to do this at the same time as you were doing his face. Right, now I just need a grey. And for my grey, I'm going to go to do a touch of black. So I'm going to start off pretty light. First, pop in his hair, like that. Paint the hat. Might add a touch more now for the hat. That's it. It's the pen that will bring all this together. These gloves here. And that one there as well. And a little touch at the edge of his shoes. And that is all our painting. So all my washes now, my watercolour's dry, and I'm going to come in and do the lines. Now, just before we start, let me show you the difference between if we go around his hair like this, as if it's an outline, and if we try to get this, um, I'm getting paint all over me now because it's on my tester paper. If we try to get this real Quentin Blake illustrative style, so we've got that instead. Can you see what a difference that is? My hand's moving very quickly and I'm pressing really lightly. And that's what we want. So we're not outlining. What we're doing is we're making quick, fast marks. Okay, let's start here then. So. I'm going to do it really speedy. You don't have to go as fast as this if you don't want to, but I'm going to go really speedy here because I actually love drawing like this because it really appeals to my impatience, my general um, wanting to do everything super fast. I'm also holding the pen pretty loosely. I'm not holding it, um, I'm not holding it really tightly. And I think that helps you when you're trying to be loose as well, just to keep your grip super loose on the pen and it is the pen marks a really important part for this kind of style this illustrative style of that and it's this is classic world-class book illustration style here of quentin blake he really set the standard and that here we go just bring him out a little bit there and sometimes you're not even going you can you don't even have to go around the wash because you're it's the pen is doing its own work, really, coming round. So there's Charlie in. And I'm now going to come on to Willy Wonka. And I'm keeping this pen moving so fast. Keep going down. You, because really what you're trying to give the impression of is as if he's moving himself. So that they're, because you can see they're running along, aren't they? And then... There we go. Let's pop his hand in. I love the shoes. They, they make me laugh. Down here, they've got these little buttons on and then a nice point at the end. You can take your time over this bit because we want to get it in so it looks as though it's a um, his jacket with these little buttons on. And then we've got the magnificent bow tie coming around and then let's take Let's take that right out. If you wanted, you could put a few of these spots in in paint. I've not done that. I've just left that. Yeah, and we've got his... I'm not going round the top of the eye there. Did you see that? It's just... It's just... I've just put the pupil in, nothing else. And that's that line here. It's not going into a shape. It's just going straight down to the end of the nose. And then finishing with the hat. Now... At the bottom, you can see we've got the words. And if you want to, you can put them in. Come on. Cried Mr. Wonka. Move on. 
boys. Now I'm going to just finish off here, coming up here. I'm just going to finish off his jacket. Oh, I've had so much fun doing this. I really hope that you guys have all enjoyed it just as much. And if you've got some Roald Dahl books, get them out. Pull out the illustrations, get your sketchbook out, get drawing. Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I thought that was just so much fun. What a great picture. We would love to see your paintings. It really makes all this worthwhile when we can see what you're doing at home. So you could send them to us in the comments on Facebook, on our Instagram page, that's The Little Art School Hub, or you could send them us them through Twitter. We would really, really love to see you. So next time, that's gonna be the very last of the weekly draws. So we are gonna be here next week for the last week of the Scottish summer holidays. And it's go we're gonna finish by really drifting off into the sky with Mary Poppins.